to you. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you for joining us today. Well, receiving an organ transplant is life-changing. It is estimated that over 100,000 people are on the national transplant waiting list. But because of a lack of access or social economic disparities, Latinos who are in need of a transplant may not make it to that list. That's why you, Chicago Medicine, started a Latino transplant program. And here to tell us a little bit more about it is Dr. Angelica Perez Gutierrez. She is a transplant surgeon at U Chicago Medicine. First of all, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, so we created the, the Latino transplant program to help uh, patients in the Latino community to navigate the transplant system. How big was the problem that you decided, listen, we need to focus and devote some of our resources to try to help this community? So, uh, so we know that there is a big gap. Uh, the Hispanic patients have more diabetes, more uncontrolled hypertension, uh, more kidney disease overall. However, they don't get transplanted, uh, and that is because uh, social, uh, this social economical disparities, but also access to care. And I think the the transplant system is very complicated. Uh, there are a lot of communication barriers um, that the patients don't get enough information. To, to go through the, the, to the process. So that's why we kind of put together all our Spanish-speaking providers to help navigate um, this, this system to, to these uh, patients. Yeah. And we'll talk a little bit about more about the process and how it works. But tell me how many Latinos are on the transplant list already, because I know that there, there are quite a few that are on the list, so some information is getting through. Yeah. So, so, so we, in our transplant list, we have like about 13% of our patients are um, Latinos. And um, we don't know exactly how many patients are in need, uh, and we cannot reach to them. So we are trying to, to increase our outreach with Spanish-speaking coordinators that go to the dialysis centers and try to get these patients into the system. And so what happens is that people live, if, if it's in a kidney dysfunction, I would imagine, they live on dialysis for years and years and years. And this would make their lives so much better if they're able to get a kidney transplant. Yeah, the, the best treatment for, for any stage kidney disease is, is a transplant. They will have better quality of life. They will live longer. Mm -hmm. You also talked to me about living donors and the fact that in the Latino community, which is different than other communities, this idea of a living donor is not something that either people are doing or even know very much about. Yeah, uh, the, the Latino community is very family centered. However, they don't have as much uh, uh, living donation at non-Hispanic patients. Um, and living donors can, uh, can decrease the waiting time in the list for these patients. So you get a transplant quicker, like these kidneys work right away. The outcomes are much better with living donors. Uh, however, um, it is because maybe the, the um, Latino patients, like usually, are not comfortable asking uh, family, friends uh, about donation, but also a lot of myths about living donor, what is required, how much time they have to be out uh, uh, from work, and, mm -hmm. and um, they don't need they don't need any long long term treatment. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a mm -hmm. surgery that gets them out of the hospital very quickly. Even what is uh, required to be a good living donor. So a lot of people put like kind of like it has to be a perfect. Uh, yeah, let's go through some health. of these, right? Because yes. I think that helps people sort of understand, uh, you know, if if they can be a part of this. So uh, age, uh, I think one of the myths out there is that you have to probably be 25 to 30 to maybe be a, a good candidate to be a living donor. Yeah, so we don't have limitation for age. We have had several uh, older donors. If they have a good kidney function, they are, they are they can be a donor. So age is not a limitation. Diabetes, hyper pressure with like several mm -hmm. medications that's a contraindication but uh, I tell my patients you just have to call the um, the living donor hotline it's not that you are signing to be a living donor but just to get more information and to get the right information and now this information is available to them in Spanish Yes, so we, we are, uh, we are uh, trying to get all our educational materials, our website, in Spanish, so it's, it's better uh, and more available for them. Yeah, okay, and many doctors and uh, offices are now working with people and kind of walking them through the process if they are interested in either being a living donor or um, perhaps need a kidney transplant or a liver transplant. 
Okay. Um, is there a website that people should go to? Yes, it's uchicagomedicine.org. They have to type Latino Transplant Program, and then it goes to the to the um, our website in Spanish. And then how long is that process between when they go on the website and when they maybe get a call back? I mean, are some people waiting? Uh, so, so, it is, so we have uh, we have uh, coordinators that will get you like in, within one week, two weeks, you will have a call back. Well, we hope this uh, raises uh, some awareness and maybe helps get more information to the communities about uh, organ donations and transplant programs in our city and throughout the state. Thank you for your work.